and I'd, I'd just like to stay with reality for a, a little bit um, because I'm doing plays of my own which I, 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 I don't have so much time for because I'm finding other bits and pieces to put in the show um, but the siege of Kendall Castle Fortress University is about to resume uh, there'll be more about that next week um, Donald Clark has got a new book out uh, another one about AI and design design for user experience that, that sort of thing I've, I've got it on order so I'll, I'll be talking about that maybe next week or the week after depend, depends when it, when it comes um, but I, I was looking back at his blog if you find um, Donald Clark Plan B go back to June 17th and uh, he talks about the uses of AI in, in learning design and um, one of the things he says is that he, he thinks it's actually working in um, North America and Asia but he doesn't think it's working in, or not yet, in Europe and the UK. And um, I, I just wonder if that's that's the case, or if Europe and the UK are still much the same, or whether they're diverging a bit at this this time. Um, so, it, if anybody's got any ideas about that, it would be good good to to hear about that. And it will it will translate into plays because the, the plays are a way of coping with what's going on, a way of discussing it. So there's the, um, the Fortress University, as described by Peter Horrocks, when he was uh, Vice-Chancellor of the Open University. Um, and the Ken Kendall Castle is, is, a sort of, is a current location for a future ruins of that situation. Uh, and also a, a CD walk, a walk in central Exeter, looking at where the retail used to be for music and making some comparisons with what might happen with learning. 